Hey, what's going on guys? Thanks for tuning in. Today, we're really excited to be checking out the Varla Eagle One Pro scooter. We absolutely love Varla's products. And in our opinion, they make some of the best electric scooters on the market today. Now, if you use our affiliate link in the description below, you can save $200 on the scooter, which brings it to just under $2,100, which is an absolute steal for the features that it has. So we're gonna go over some of the specs and then we're gonna hop on the scooter and see how it performs. Now, right off the bat, you're probably wondering how fast the scooter goes. You can get the scooter up to 45 plus miles per hour, which is absolutely insane. And one full charge on the battery will get you up to 45 miles of range. Now, obviously your miles will vary depending on the conditions, but pretty impressive. This is a 60 volt electric scooter and it comes with a 27 amp hour battery. You have some very impressive power with this scooter. You have two 1000 watt motors, one in the front and one in the rear. And those motors peak at 3600 watts. You also have two 30 amp sine wave controllers powering those two motors. So definitely no shortage of power. And this thing is an absolute hill crusher. Avarla says you can climb hills with a 35 degree angle, and we can definitely vouch for that. Now, as far as charging goes, you do get two charge ports on the scooter itself. However, keep in mind, you only get one charger in the box. So we do recommend picking up another charger to half your charging time. So with one charger, you're looking up to about 13 to 14 hours to charge from zero to 100. And you can half that with two chargers. It'll take you about six to seven hours of charging with two chargers from zero to 100. Varla does give you hydraulic disc brakes with 160 millimeter rotors. It also does feature ABS, so stopping is very good on the scooter, especially going speeds over 45 miles an hour. You definitely want to have some nice stopping power, and we'll put that to the test while we're out on our ride test. This scooter is an absolute beast off-road. It has dual suspensions, so you get one large shock in the front and another large shock in the rear. And let me tell you, the suspension is phenomenal. You do get a pretty large headlight and it's rated at 10 watts. It does a really good job of lighting up the road. And you also get a working brake light, tail light in the rear. One thing we absolutely love is what Varla did with the folding mechanism to unfold and fold the scooter. So to loosen this, you just have to turn this. And as you can see, that's coming out there. They do give you something called an insurance pin as well uh, to make sure that it's extra safe and not going anywhere when it's locked in place. You you take that out and then the scooter will fold up. One thing we don't like about the scooter is there is no place to latch it to carry the scooter. Not 90 pounds, I don't think this thing is meant to be a super mobile scooter. It's meant to be your main commuter. So to unfold the scooter, you just lift up here. It stands up and we're gonna take a little valve here, turn that till it tightens. And then you wanna take your insurance pen and put it right in that hole there and you are super safe. This thing is not going anywhere, so you don't have to worry. We definitely love this system they came up with. They do give you a nice 7.8 inch deck, which is nice and grippy, and you can easily put your feet side by side if you want to, if that's how you ride. And they also give you this little brace in the back to put your foot there, which that's what we do when we ride. We use that back piece to kind of get some leverage, but very nice deck on here, gives you lots of room. You do get some nice large 11 inch tubeless tires, definitely improves off-roading along with those shocks. It's a super smooth ride. They do include some nice fenders as well, and surprisingly, they give you a lot of coverage to keep that mud off of you. Like we mentioned before, the scooter is 90 pounds, so not meant to be a super portable scooter. This is meant to be your daily commuter, and it does a very good job of that. But if you happen to be looking for something super mobile and super light varla does offer some other scooters in their lineup that fit that bill the max capacity of the scooter is 330 pounds we're gonna check out the handlebars and the control system as well as the screen you have some nice locking grips which we love to see so these things don't move around you have your left brake as well as your controls on the left hand side you do have your pedal assist up pedal assist down your information button as well as your headlight button you do have your power button on the right. On the right hand side, you get another locking grip as well as your right side brake. And check this out guys, you actually get a thumb throttle on the Eagle One Pro. So on the other scooters like this, including the Eagle One, you do get a trigger throttle 
which does get tiring after a while. So it's definitely a welcome surprise to see a thumb throttle on the Eagle One Pro, and we'll see how that works while we're out riding. All right, so we're back to the display, and this is the coolest part about the scooter, in our opinion. A really nice addition, especially when it comes to theft and security. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna power up the display by holding the power button, and you can actually see this NFC symbol blinking, and they give you two NFC tags, and they're really nice. And what you wanna do is you wanna place these tags right on the same symbol here. Just hold it there, and that display will light up. So really cool. So these tags are needed to ride the scooter or even turn on the scooter for that matter. You get a nice color LCD screen. It gives you a percentage of your battery up here. This is the symbol for dual motor. It gives you your speed, pedal assist, and your trip. So really cool addition with the NFC tags. We're loving this. Anything for added security, uh, we are definitely in favor of. So really cool that Varla did this on the Eagle One Pro. So what we'll do is we'll get on the scooter and see how it rides, see how it performs, take it off road and let you guys know what our thoughts are. So let's get on the scooter and see how it does. All right, so we're on the Varla Eagle One Pro. Right off the bat, feels very comfortable. We're loving the stunt throttle. We're gonna test out the brakes at the bottom of the hill. Wow, those are some really powerful brakes. Definitely, uh, definitely stops really well. We'll do a top speed test here. We're saying uh, 45 plus miles per hour on the scooter for a top speed. Got 42 there. Hopefully not shabby, but we'll uh, we get faster here. And it looks like the percentage is going off voltage drag. We're about 44% down from 82 where we started. Well, we're getting about 40 miles an hour, a little bit over 40 maybe, back there. It's about the same speed that we really got on the regular Eagle one, but no movement in the handlebars. It's really nice uh, with that nice locking system. The suspension is really cushy. Definitely loving that. But guys, I absolutely love the addition of the thumb throttle instead of the trigger. Definitely feels a lot more natural. And there is a lot of play with the thumb throttle too, so it moves a lot. So from where it starts, we didn't play with any settings out of the box. This is exactly how it came out of the box. We didn't mess with any settings. It's nice and smooth. So it gets you up to speed. A really smooth instead of a jerkiness and stuff that may scare some people. But yeah, the brakes are really nice. Nice and easy to turn. So we haven't seen 45 miles per hour. I mean, it's still fast, but they're advertising 45 plus miles per hour. And we're not seeing it in around 40. It could be our weight. We're 260 pounds. Super quiet, you can't hear the motors. And the grips aren't moving. I think that was one of the problems with uh, the earlier models uh, from Varla was the grips would just move around. And, and the fact that they put locking grips on there now, definitely a nice addition. And we're gonna see how this scooter does getting up this hill. All right, so here's the hill test from a dead stop with the Varla Eagle One Pro. Here we go. All 
As with all of the other Varla scooters that we've had, this hill is no problem for it. We're going about 25 miles per hour up this hill. Handles it with ease. So the claim of being able to go up hills up to 35 degrees of incline, I definitely think that's true, so. All right, so let's take it in the field. Yeah, it just doesn't, maybe it's just the settings, the way it is, but it just doesn't seem as powerful as, oh, no problem with the curb there. Just doesn't seem as snappy and powerful as uh, the Eagle One that we tested. I mean, it's still powerful. It's just, oh yeah, no problem at all. No problem at all. So if you're planning on taking this scooter off-road, you know, within limits, obviously, it's gonna do just fine. But very easy to maneuver. Barla just makes a really, really good scooter. Really nice. You can see that brake light lighting up. Very nice looking scooter. Super grippy. Definitely like putting our foot back here. Makes us feel more in control, more leverage. But yeah, guys, if you're looking for this scooter, save 200 bucks by using our affiliate link in the description below. Just under $2,100, which is an absolute bargain for what you're getting. Right, let's go off the curb here. See how it handles it. Oh yeah, no problem. As you can see, even me bouncing at 260 pounds, this thing is super cushy. But if you guys have any questions, about the Farla Eagle One Pro, please leave them in the comments below. We'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Until next time, we appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace out.